Meet Eddie, 18 years old. He only has two hours before he has to go to bed because he has school in the morning. But as he's searching for options of what to watch on Netflix, his conscience comes into play. Before you waste hours on Sharknado They complain to your friends You should've just played Halo You better think of the consequence Who are you? We're your Netflix conscience That's nonsense You got time There's no need to be manic and panic Watch Lord of the Rings Or Rose and Jack and Titanic Don't listen to him, Eddie Don't you dare be a fool You better be ready in six hours Get your ass to school How about a TV series So he can watch a ton He can watch Sherlock I hear that one's fun Those are 90 minutes each You can't just watch one season Like when Sherlock dies You gotta see the reason. Uh-uh, spoiler alert, you just ruined it for Eddie. It's on the popular page, you should have seen it already. Then how about House of Cards? Second season's kind of lame. Nah, it's awesome, bro. The main chick gets thrown in front of a train. Shit, we wasted three hours trying to decide. If he just watched Sharknado, he could have watched it two times. Fuck it, just watch it. Let's leave Eddie B. Alright, let's do this. Oh shit, it's just DVD. There's too much content on Netflix. It's hard to choose what to watch next. Meet Robin. She's newly single and excited to enjoy an evening alone eating soup out of a plastic cup and watching movies. But as soon as she logs into her account, something wrong happens, and then her conscience kicks into play. Ah, snap! You can't watch Magic Mike right now! Yeah, looks like too many people are on your account somehow. Guess you better watch TV with fucking commercials on Hulu! Hi, right, don't be brash, just think who you gave your password to. Well, let's see, your mother, your brother, and who else again? We're forgetting someone. Oh yeah, your ex-boyfriend! Oh shit, girl, how can we log him out? Just change your password, kick him off the account! Well, now it's his account, and he still pays the bill. Say what? You're a Netflix moocher? You're making me ill. He's right, Robin, you gotta get your own login. Move on with your life and hop on that toboggan. There's too much content on Netflix. It's hard to choose what to watch next on Netflix, on Netflix, Meet on Rudy. Netflix. He's There's invited Bertha over for Netflix and chill and now has Netflix. to find the perfect it's movie so that he can make out with it. When suddenly, his conscience on comes Netflix. into play. On Netflix. This ought to be easy, this dude is a smoothie. But Rudy's gotta be smart when he's choosing the movie. Yo, what about the notebook? Nah, she'll catch on to your ruse. It's been a decade since that move was first used. Then we'll need something boring. Then she'll fall asleep. A thoughtful documentary? She'll get too sad and she'll weep. How about smash the movie then? Who? This is getting stupid. Let's just turn it off and kiss her. Make sure the lights are down so she won't question your lip blister. Yo, slow it down. No need to rush. We can try a Ford film to impress this sweet crush. Ah, quit being pretentious, man. No one wants to read. Well, maybe we should ask her what she wants to see. Hey, babe, what do you want to watch? How about Sex in the City? Damn, that's not on here. What should Rudy do? Looks like we had to buy that shit off iTunes. Nah, dummy, that show is on HBO now. But that's 15 bucks a month. We're not a cash cow. Let's just take a step back and look what this is really about. Yeah, why are we spending this much just to make out? Rudy, stop thinking with your goblins. Start using your noggin. And just slide with the man. Hop on life's toboggan. There's too much content on Netflix. It's hard to choose what to watch next on Netflix.